I'm Chris Shattuck, and this is Updating Modules and Manipulating CSS. In this chapter, we update a module with the Update Manager, and then we do a manual module update. We then wrap up by modifying the CSS in the main menu to match our mockup. We installed an older version of the media module, found out that there was a bug, but that possibly the bug has been fixed in the development release. So we want to go ahead and test that release. This task presents us with something new because we have a module already installed. And what we need to do is upgrade the module to use a different version. And that's how we're going to begin this chapter. So far, the way that we've installed modules has been by using the Update Manager module, which allows us to click on a button on the modules page and install the module by pasting in a URL. Now what we need to do is take a module that we've already installed and update it. Now if we were working with major releases or official releases of a module, we could click on this update tab in the module section and we would be presented with a set of updates that were available to us for specific modules. If you get to this page and it says last checked zero seconds ago, it means that we'll need to check manually in order to see if there's any updates available. Let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to click the check manually button. It'll go through the process of going out and looking to see if there's been any available updates for any of the modules that we have installed. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this process since it takes a while. Note that if we had set up our site to do this check behind the scenes and we had a cron run running, that this would happen on a periodic basis. Okay, when we're done, we get a note at the top that says checked available update data for 283 projects. And notice here that we have an option for the media module. The installed version is beta 3. We installed this one purposefully in order to test it with certain errors. And the recommended version right now is beta 4. Now, if you're watching this video later on, there may be additional releases that are suggested.